false on these income tax returns that the government claims are false? No. So the jury is just hearing from the government all of these things that say, why are we here? You, you, you claim that this man did all these bad things and you can't produce one witness or one piece of documentation to prove that it's the case. Why did you prosecute him? So thankfully, I had 12 thinking jurors. We were a little concerned because it was in Sacramento, California, the capital of California. There's a lot of government workers there. But it was actually government workers, in my case anyway, uh, who were, they were champions of, 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 of the jury process and actually paying attention and seeing that the government was trying to railroad me and they wanted the jury to buy into it and they weren't about to do that. And so I was acquitted on all the charges um, and that was back in 2005. So like what, almost like nine years ago. Um, now there's been other just IRS agents, not armed treasury agents like you, who they've actually been able to throw in prison with ignorant juries. But more and more, we never used to see juries finding people not guilty. More and more, we are finding them not guilty. And that's what the jury's there to do is judge the facts and the law. It, it, it's very, very simple. You know, sometimes there is a time to not follow some fictitious regulation that's being misapplied. A great analogy of that is they claim every year in August nationwide in every local paper, it's the law to take vaccines. There is no law to take vaccines. They kick you out of school on policy, then they trigger the law on truancy, but you can't trigger the law on truancy when you kick them out. Then it turns out they shouldn't have been able to kick you out because it, the policy is not lawful in the courts because you, you're supposed to be able to be given a waiver from the policy. But that extrapolates into Rick Perry saying it's the law you've got to take Gardasil six years ago. And people took their daughters in and got the shot because the governor said it was the law. Nope. The governor mandated under emergency powers that the state health department list it as one of the shots that they instruct the schools to comply and get people vaccinated. But it's just that, a bureaucratic order. That's right. And you, you, what you point out is very important, Alex, and that is, you know, the jury, first of all, the, that means that we all need to be informed jurors and try to get on a jury rather than try to get off a jury or get out of jury duty. And the second thing that I, of course, harp on, uh, because a lot of my family is, is in law enforcement and government service, and that is that uh, those are the boots on the ground. Those are the people, uh, like you saw in the videos there with the Bundy family, um, those agents took an oath to support and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. They took that oath before they were issued their boots, before they got their rifle, before they got their cool sunglasses that are probably have cameras in them, uh, before they got all that equipment, they took an oath to support and defend the Constitution. All those uh, Las Vegas Metro officers, on and on and on, all the government bureaucrats everywhere, they all took an oath, okay? And they need to remember that they took that oath before anything else happened, before they even got their first paycheck. And they need to remember what that oath said and they need to use their common sense to determine who are those enemies? Who are the foreign enemies? Who are the domestic enemies? And then what can I do within my purview and my job to make sure that I abide by my oath? Now for me, in order to abide by my oath, I had to resign. <laughs> but there's still a lot of people that are in government service, very good people, including my own family. And, uh, and so we need everyone to educate themselves on the oath they already took and to do the right thing. You sent us a photo. Tell us about this photo we're going to put up for TV viewers and describe it for radio listeners and why you want us to show it. Uh, was that the photo of my family with all the uniforms and badges? Yeah, to make the point. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, as best I can remember, uh, the guy in the far left in the tan um, uh, uniform is my brother, John. He's a lieutenant in the California Highway Patrol. Uh, then I believe the next is my uh, brother, Jeff. He's a San Jose, California police officer. And then my mom, Ann, is in the middle. Uh, my dad passed away just a few minutes, a few minutes, a few months before I went into the IRS in 1993. Otherwise, he would have been in the photo. Then is my brother, Jim. He's a battalion chief in the Daly City, California Fire Department. And I think uh, over on the right is me with the white shirt and yeah. the government treasury badge. And I guess so, that was taken, uh, what, back in 93, 94? Yeah, like 94, 95. And then there's another picture of my uncle, uh, 30 years as a deputy sheriff with Santa Clara County, California. Um, 
So, you know, I, I just, I love the picture, not because I, you know, my, my poor relatives have to have that picture paraded around. But, you know, as you are, Alex, I'm so sick and tired of this. Oh, they're all anti-government zealots. They just don't want to pay their fair share. Uh, it's such a crock. Um, and so I think that picture uh, speaks of more than a thousand words. Well, I'll say on average, most police I've run into are more awake and more concerned about what's going on in the general public. But the bad guys get put in charge, especially of the feds, or people that'll just follow any order. They're basically military. And they treat me like I'm in Fallujah and have shot a RPG at them. And they're trying to get more and more thug-like people in. But that is something that's been holding the tyranny up, is that there are a lot of good people in the system who do what they do out of compartmentalization. I want to talk about that when we come back with Joe Bannister. Because they came after him a couple times trying to throw him in jail just for giving speeches and, and, and telling people about the IRS. They said, well, you're telling people not to pay their taxes. You're in a conspiracy. No, his free speech is not a conspiracy. It's an open plan to stop evil. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Hello, this is Steve Shank. Why do police go undercover and why do countries send out spies? Simple. If you can guess from intelligence what the other guy is doing, you have the battle won before it starts. Let's see what intelligence we have about your food situation. We're having the worst disasters ever. Storms, earthquakes, floods, and terrible drought. Half our population needs food stamps and other subsidies to afford their food now. Prices have just hit their all-time high with more terrible costs coming. Your food and now your water are being sold to other starving countries. Still one-third of our corn goes to expensive gas instead of feeding livestock and people. What few dollars you have, China expects to devalue to uselessness. If it's possible to get the most of the best food and freeze the availability and cost before it disappears and is unavailable, you don't dare miss the opportunity. Go to MyFarmInABox.com or call 855-918-3663. That's MyFarmInABox.com or 855-918-3663. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. You're listening to the Alex Jones Show. I am your host, Alex Jones. Nightly News is back tonight, 7 o'clock. Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow, live, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. More special guests, informative information. The average person says, hey, man, pay your fair share. we got to run the country. The IRS, the income tax, came in 1913. It wasn't widely deployed till the 50s. It's designed, according to Ronald Reagan's own commission, in 81, in Congress, to pay the national debt. The banks created it so when they had the income tax to pay the Federal Reserve. It, 
it came together. It's the takeover, just like Obamacare. And I don't want to be here in 100 years, you know, people going, it's a conspiracy that Obamacare was a scam. I mean, it's just come on, folks. Stop being naive. It is so frustrating to know how much prosperity we could have, but that the globalists want artificial scarcity. They do not want us to be able to be self-sufficient. I mean, they admit it. They say they want us under their control. This is their plan. Cloward and Piven is just one manifestation of that. Joe Bannister, I know I asked a question before the break, and I said we're going to come back, and I don't remember what it was, but we got about four minutes left. Uh, looking at, 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 There's a huge awakening happening. The system knows we're waking up. They're preparing the police and military for war. That's kind of waking the police and military up. Um, and I think, I think the big false flag is, is a civil war. I think that's the false flag to bring the country down. And then that lets the globalists take over is getting us killing each other. That's why I try as hard as I can to reach out to police and military. We've actually got the military. I, the globalists have a big problem. The military is really awake. Police are waking up fast. Feds, uh, you know, at least the ones they put out there are just, are, they just think they're going to follow orders. I, where do you see all this going? Well, I do, I do what you said. You're talking about how you know a First Amendment protected activity, free speech, uh, can't possibly be a conspiracy. And my attorney Bob Bernhoff, who you know you had on the show uh, that time, he defended West. I want to get you and him back on. That guy was amazing. He he said he has this gallows humor. He calls it the conspiracy of full disclosure. <laughs> where where here you are, you're, you're making speeches, you're telling your friends, you're completely doing things out in the open. Why? Because it's your right, because that's what Americans do. And yet the government will try to turn that into some kind of a criminal conspiracy, uh, some kind of criminal uh, conduct. And so, uh, you know, it, it's gallows humor, but it really, it's illustrative. And I think that's why it's so important for us, the Bundy family, how they've shown uh, with the horsemen and everyone there at that at that confrontation, uh, they were peaceful. Uh, they were direct. Uh, they knew what their rights were, and they weren't going to back down in the face of of tyrants trying to take their rights away. And I want to say something just because Harry Reid, and I'll call him a criminal, is so arrogant and has that smug look. That's criminology. They always think they're invincible, and that's their undoing. That's right. And that's why it's so important for people don't, you know, have this be something that makes you feel good and, and shows an example of how yourself know your rights, know what's going on and, and politely uh, but firmly express those rights. If you encounter a, a bureaucrat or a, a police officer or a federal agent or whatever it might and be. And when you see a bureaucrat or a cop doing the right thing, help them, support them, praise them. Absolutely. In closing, <laughs> tell folks about all the great info on your website. Uh, well, agentfortruth.com, um, there's, a, there's a section called Become an Agent for Truth. And I think that does a, you know, since there's not a lot of time to go over this kind of stuff in a, in a show, uh, people can do their homework a little bit and see more about the landscape. And, uh, you know, I want everybody to be as um, uh, safe as they can. But, of course, uh, freedom isn't free, and it's, it's uh, difficult. So agentfortruth.com is my little uh, contribution to try to keep people safe as they are. And you're a leading expert who's been through the wars. So if folks want to think about things with the IRS, they need to go to your site. Thank you so much, Joe. I want to get you and your lawyer on soon. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right. Thank you, Alex. Great job, crew. Great job, everybody. Nightly News Tonight, 7. God bless you all. You are Thanks for praying for the Bundys yeah. and everybody else. Thank God we didn't have a Ruby Ridge or Waco or Wounded Knee there. Thank you, Jesus. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air out.